That's right, Moses. This is a story that has shaken Kern County to its core, gathering attention and condolences from the nation. It's a story about two families ripped apart, an officer who made the ultimate sacrifice, and a community that united to give respect, honor, and prayers to those we lost. This is the living history of Kern County, a history that won't be forgotten. On a peaceful Sunday morning in Wasco, having just delivered a litter of kittens, no one from the Ramirez family expected the dramatic events that unfolded just hours later that same day. From loud arguing to a series of gunshots, to a SWAT standoff and a sheriff's deputy being killed. This day only continued to escalate until Jose Ramirez was shot by the SWAT team who had surrounded his home in an hours long standoff. That we had victims of shootings in the residence. As the deputies were, as the SWAT team was approaching the residence, a suspect began firing at them from inside of the residence. Uh, two of our deputies were struck. The total body count for this horrific scene added up to five, including the suspect. When I walk in the house, I notice that Jose was on the floor with, with the back of his head open. I was preparing myself, if he doesn't make it, to be strong for him. <laughs> and the last thing he said to me was, I love you. Day after day, people from all over Kern County spread their support for the survivors and the families of those who tragically met their end. Flowers and candles could be seen popping up at the sheriff's stations within hours of the shooting. The body of Sheriff Deputy Philip Compass was moved in a procession that included first responders and officers from KCSO and BPD. That God is with the family of Ramirez family and also with the officers that passed away. We thank you today, Lord. Prayer services were held in both Bakersfield and in Wasco for Compass and the Ramirez family. A vigil was also held at the end of the week that led supporters to KCSO headquarters in Oildale. Another memorial for Compass is planned to be held next Friday on August 6th at the Mechanics Bank Arena on Truxton Avenue. It'll begin at 11 a.m. and it's open to the public. In studio, Marco Torres, 17 News.